Hello! Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is Pythagorean Theorem. We actually use the acronym PT for Pythagorean Theorem. So if I say PT, you know what I mean, the Pythagorean Theorem. It states that in a right triangle, so take note of that, remember that, the Pythagorean theorem applies to right triangles only. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. Hypotenuse. The hypotenuse here in this right triangle is small c. The hypotenuse is always the side opposite the right angle and it is always the longest side the legs are a and b there so the square of the hypotenuse c is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs that is the pythagorean theorem okay let's move on to problem number one in the right triangle, triangle ABC, so ABC, C is the length of the hypotenuse. So C here, this must be C, small c, is the length of the hypotenuse. So AB is 12, BC is 16. How do we solve for C? We have to use the Pythagorean theorem. C squared is equal to a squared plus B squared. The legs are A and B. We can let this be A and this be B. Then substitute the values. So C squared equals A squared. A is 16. So that's 16 squared plus B squared. That is 12 squared. 16 squared. So Let's solve here. 16 times 16. 6 times 6, 36 carry 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3. 9. 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. Add them. 6, 15 carry 1, 256. And I think you know that 12 squared is 144. As early as grade 6, you know that 12 squared equals 144. But you can go long way like this and then add this so we have c, c squared equals 256 plus 144 gives us 10 carry 1 6 10 0 carry 1 4 so this is 400 and then to solve for c you take the square root of both sides so c is equal to Square root of 4 is 2. Two zeros mean, means 1 zero out. So C is equal to 20. There. So again, remember that if you're given a right triangle and one side is unknown, all you have to do is to apply the Pythagorean theorem. Let's have another example for clearer view. So if A equals 6, C equals 12, what is B? So still apply the Pythagorean theorem. We have here c squared equals a squared plus b squared. b is the one unknown here, so we can now leave b here on one side and transpose a squared to the other side there. So b squared equals transpose a squared. You have c squared minus a squared. Substitute the values. C is 12. So we have here 12 squared. Minus A is 6. 6 squared equals B squared. Then B squared is now equal to 12 squared. We know that 12 squared here is 144. Minus 6 squared is 6 times 6, 36. Well, then we subtract 144 minus 36. 4 minus 6 cannot be. Borrow 1. 
14 minus 6 is 8. 3 minus 3 is 0. And this is 1, 108. So 108 is equal to b squared. Simplify by taking the square of both sides. We have here b equals, let us find factors of 108. You can do it by trial and error. 108. Is, uh, is it divisible by 3? Yes. Let's try 3. 10 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. Bring down 8. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. There. So, 108 is 3 times 36. So we have here 3 times 36. But 36 is a perfect square. So the square root of 36 is equal to 6 times the square root of 3. 3 was left alone. I was just uh, putting a slash here to denote that I am already getting the perfect square root of 36, which is 6, is equal to b. So b is equal to 6 times the square root of 3. Let's move to the third example. Let me read problem number 3. A man travels 10 kilometers due north, then goes 3 kilometers east, and then 6 kilometers due south. How far is he from his starting point? Let us remember that when we have uh, directions like this, this is north, down is south, and then we, west, east. They are north, up, down, south, left, west, right, east. It says in the problem that the man travels 10 kilometers north. So you go up, there, 10 kilometers. There, that's 10. Mm. Then goes 3 kilometers east. So from here you go 3 east. There, 3 east. And then 6 kilometers due south. South is going down, 6 going down. There. So this is the starting point. This is the ending point. This is unknown. We can see that when this is 3, this will also be 3, same length. And if this is 6, this will also be 6. And everything is 10, so 10 minus 6 will give us a 4. So we have here a 3, a 4, and a question mark. We let this be C. Therefore, now, you know that you have a right triangle here and the Pythagorean theorem applies. So we have here c squared equals a squared plus b squared. c squared is a known. So c squared equals 3 squared. We can let this a and this be b. Plus 4 squared gives us c squared equals 9 plus 16. And c squared equals 25. Mm, how do you solve for c? Take the square root of both sides. We get c is equal to 5 there. Actually, this should be plus or minus, but you cannot have a minus because c is a length. There is no negative length. So you take 5 kilometers there. So our answer number 1 is 5 kilometers. That's how you solve problems like this. Number four, which is the length of the size of a right triangle? As we have said, the Pythagorean theorem applies to right triangles only. So, for letter A, uh, we can let this be A, this be B, and this is our C. So, check if it satisfies the Pythagorean theorem, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Substitute the values. Is 60 squared equal to 
20 square plus 40 square. There. 60 square. You can take a shortcut. 6 times 6 is 36. When you multiply 62 times, it will produce two zeros. So 20 squared is also the same thing. 2 times 2 is 4. You're multiplying 22 times, so you get two zeros, 400. 4 times 4 is 16, and then two zeros. Add these two is 3,600 equal to 1,600 plus 400, which is 0, 0, 0, carry 1, 2, 2,000. Are they equal? The answer is no. So this is not a right triangle. In other words, these sides are not the sides of a right triangle. We do the same thing with letter B. We let this be our A, this is our B, and this is C. Apply the Pythagorean theorem. C squared is that A squared plus B squared. Oh. So this is 10 squared is the 4 squared plus 6 squared is 100 equal to 4 times 4 is 16 plus 36. Are they? 6 plus 6, 12, carry 1, 3, 4, 5. 100 is not equal to 52. Therefore, not the sides of a right triangle, not a right triangle. But let's proceed to letter C. In letter C, we let this be A again, and this is our B, and, and our C is 13. We check again if it satisfies C squared equals A squared plus B squared, which is the Pythagorean theorem. So, here is 13 squared equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared. So, 13 squared, 169, is the 25 plus 144. Let's add again this. 5 plus 4 is 9. 4 plus 2 is 6. This is 169 equals 169. Yay! Yeah, hey. So therefore, yes. Letter C. 5, 12, and 13 are the sides of a right triangle. Why? It satisfies the Pythagorean theorem. What about letter D? So we let this be A, this is B, and this is C. Again, A is 7, B is 14, and C is 21. Is C squared equal to A squared plus B squared? C is 21. Is 21 squared equal to A squared? 7 squared plus 14 squared? 21 squared. 21 times 21. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. This is 441. So 21 squared is 441. Is that equal to 49 plus 14 squared? 14 times 14. 4 times 4 is 16, carry 1. 4 times 1, 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. Add 6, 9, 1. 196 are they equal? Obviously not because if you add 9 plus 6, 15. 5 carry 1. This ends in 1. So we don't continue anymore. They are not equal. These are not equal the sides of a right triangle. Not a right triangle or not the sides of a right triangle. So our answer is letter C only. Only the sides 5, 12, and 13 are the sides of a right triangle. Let's proceed to number 5. Problem number 5. Let's proceed in triangle OFI. Angle O is a right angle. Here is a right angle, and this is triangle OFI. IO, IO is equal to 20. What is IF? So, you see that triangle OFI is a right triangle. 
that gives you already a hint that you can use the Pythagorean theorem. Two sides are 20 and 15, so you can now solve for IF. Let us let this be A, we let this be B, and this is our C. How did we know that this is C? Because it is opposite the right angle. So therefore, we have here C squared, which is actually I F squared, is equal to A squared plus B squared. C squared or I F squared is equal to 20 squared plus 15 squared. So proceed, C squared is 2 times 2, 4, there are two zeros plus 15 squared is 225. So C squared is equal to 400 plus 225, that is 625. And you take the square root of both sides, you get C is equal to 25. And we let C be equal to IF, so IF is equal to 25 there. So let me erase this again. Let me erase the B and the A and the C here for you not to get confused there. We move on to letter B, OE. OE, what is OE? OE here is the altitude of triangle OFI and it is one side of triangle OEI. Did you notice that? See? So, since you have a right triangle here, let me put the right triangle sign there so it's easier for you. So, since we have a right triangle here, OEI, the two sides are already given. The hypotenuse is equal to 20, which is C, and we let this be A, so B is unknown for triangle OEI. So let's uh, use the Pythagorean theorem again. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. But B squared is unknown. So we have here B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. Transpose A to the other side. There, transpose it there, we have this. C squared is 20 squared. A squared, A is 16 squared is equal to B squared. 20 squared is 2 times 2, 4, then 2 zeros. 16 squared, 16 times 16. So we have here 6 times 6, 36. Carry 3, this is 9. 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. I'm doing it fast because I know you're already in high school. So 256. So this is 256 equals B squared. 400 minus 256. There. 0 minus 6 cannot be. Borrow 1, 10, 9, this is 3. 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 minus 5 is 4. 3 minus 2 is 1. We have here 144 is B squared. And take the square root of both sides. What is B? The, word, the number 144 already appeared there so many times. It is 12 squared. Or, so B is equal to 12. So OE is equal to 12. That's the answer. Letter C. We want to find the area of triangle OFI. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Is the whole triangle OFI. You can let IF be your base. So IF a while ago is 25 here. So base 25 times height is here 12 let me write 12 here so that you will not get confused divided by 2 12 divided by 2 is 6 
25 times 6 gives us 30 carry 3, 150. There, 150 unit square. Now, you have to also know that you can also find the area of a triangle by using leg 1, leg 2, divided by 2. The area of a right triangle is leg 1 times leg 2 divided by 2. So, since we're dealing with triangle of e, the big triangle of e here, this is our leg 1, this can be our leg 2, leg 2. So we can have here leg 1, 15, times leg 2, 20, divided by 2, 20 divided by 2, this can be cancelled, you get 10, so 15 times 10 is 150. Did you see that? You get the same answer. Whether you use Bayside divided by 2 or leg 1 times leg 2 divided by 2. In other words, one leg of a triangle can be the base and the other leg can be the height. That's the meaning of that. For letter B here, we want to find the area of triangle OIE. OIE. As you can see in triangle O, O, I, E, two legs of a triangle are already available. So you can now use leg 1, leg 2 divided by 2. Or leg 1 can be your base, leg 2 can be your height divided by 2. So we can use their leg 1 to be 12, leg 1, 12. Leg 2, 16. For triangle O, I, E. Divided by 2. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. And then 12 times 8. 16 carry 1, 96 units square. Because we're looking for the area. So our units will be units square. I hope I was of help to all of you before we end. Always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. Thank you.